What's up, y'all? I'm Reed the Fishmonger, and today we're filleting up one of my favorites, Spanish mackerel. Spanish mackerel falls on my list of one of the most underrated fish that we catch here in South Florida. In my opinion, this is top tier sashimi. So when it comes to filleting Spanish mackerel, a popular way people fillet them is what I call a drift boat fillet, where you go behind the head, flip your knife around, and you go down the spine. So we're gonna show you the difference between a drift boat filet and a fishmonger filet. First, we're gonna show you the drift boat filet, where you're gonna pick up the pectoral fin, go behind the head at an angle, twist your knife around, give it a gentle sawing motion, and then just glide right down that spine, and there's your filet. It looks pretty good, but there is some missing meat that you will get when you do a fishmonger filet. And here's the fishmonger filet. Pick up the pectoral fin, go behind the head at an angle. We're gonna make a slight incision, flip our knife around, go right on top of the spine. Tip of the knife, base of the ribs, separate the connection the pin bones make to the ribs. Now you can use your knife to hit the second side, rest your knife right on top of those ribs and separate. And there you go. You took all of the rib bones out in the filet so you don't have to circle back around and take the rib bones out later. And in addition to that, you didn't lose all of that meat that ran along the spine. So here's our two fish. Let's use our knife to do a, a fishmonger filet. And we can see all of that delicious meat that we're missing out on. Now look, you guys, I'm not saying one's right and one's wrong. I'm saying one unequivocally gets more meat. But if you're gonna take, if you're gonna scrape the skeleton and eat some snacks anyways, how about the drift boat filet? Spanish mackerel, raw has such a clean flavor. Now, the FDA wants anything that you consume raw when it comes to fish to have been frozen for days before consuming it raw. So what I just did is off of a fresh, never frozen, locally harvested fish. So for legal purposes, I'm your fishmonger. I'm not the FDA. Do what the FDA says or consume at your own risk. Now we're gonna circle back around and cut the other side. Drift boat filet behind the head. Twist your knife around, slide right on top of that spine. There you go. A fishmonger filet on the second side is gonna be a little harder because it is a softer fish. We're gonna go behind the head at an angle. Wiggle our knife right in there and run your knife on top of the spine. Flip your knife around, right on top of the spine. Come back down. Tip of the knife on the second side. Tip of the knife, base of the ribs. Separate the connection the pin bones make to the ribs. Now you can ride right down and boom. There's your gorgeous filet. Didn't lose all the meat that you lost on the drift boat filet. And you took the rib bones out while you were at it. All right, non-drift boat filet. All you gotta do is shave that membrane off and you're donezo. There you go, gorgeous filet. Drip boat filet, we're gonna have to take those rib bones out. Go right underneath those rib bones, gently shave them off. And now you're done. It's a quick extra step. It's not a lot of extra effort to take the rib bones out, but the extra step that you took to take the rib bones out later, you could have used that extra second to get all the meat off of the spine and not have to take the rib bones out later. At the end of the day, if you're not in a fish house and you're just cutting dinner for your family, the little bit of meat that you lost isn't gonna make a huge difference. It makes a difference in a fish house because we're cutting thousands of these fish. And this is just one side. So if we did this on both sides, if a thousand were cut a day, now we're talking about 2000 ounces, which is a truckload of money. Let's skin and debone Spanish mackerel, something a lot of people have trouble with. Why? because see this gentle curve on the Spanish mackerel? This meat doesn't lay flat and the skin is super thin. So because the meat doesn't lay flat and the skin is super thin, it makes it almost impossible to skin normally going from tail forward unless you leave a bunch of meat behind. So let me show you an example. So because of this curve, my knife is below this curve, I'm gonna cut through the skin. So my knife has to be above that curve to not cut through the skin. So we're gonna start at a hard angle, then flatten our knife out. And 
to not cut through the skin, we're gonna have to go above that curve, which we just did. And there you go. But if you didn't have this meat left behind, you would have skin on your filet. So what you can do to avoid that when skinning mackerel, cut it into smaller pieces, then follow the pin bone line down, use your knife, flatten it out, repeat the process, follow the pin bone line, flatten your knife out, and no skin left on that filet, and you're able to scrape all the meat off as opposed to leaving all this meat on. And then the second half, if it's a smaller Spanish mackerel, will lay flat. So on the part that lays flat, you're able to start from there. Now when you're cleaning Spanish mackerel, if you don't wanna follow the FDA's recommendations, which I am not suggesting, make sure you got some soy sauce around. Splash the soy sauce, you don't need much. You want to taste that delicious fish. I'm going to take this little piece of low loin. You can see the grain on this Spanish mackerel. So you don't want to be cutting with the grain because it'll be chewy. You want to be cutting against it. Just like meat and all other proteins, if you cut with the grain, chewier, cut against the grain, it'll be softer. Look at that. And I wish you guys were here with me to share because, mm, absolutely phenomenal. No, nothing fancy, just soy sauce. Mm. I would take this cheap Spanish mackerel over Wahoo any day of the week. And I, I'm sure there's plenty of warriors out there that disagree with me. That is totally okay. Food is subjective, not objective. Eat what you enjoy and pass on what you don't. This, I enjoy. Mm. All right, you guys, I got a lot of dinner to finish. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you all have a killer day. See you later.